<laughs> Babylon. Um, <coughs> yeah. Hanks for versus Seiski. Yeah, Seiski. Um, okay, Hanks for the Zerg in the bottom right of Babylon. Um, Seiski, for reasons best known to himself, is not building anything. So uh, this game's a foregone conclusion, really. You know, if, if you if you can literally spend the first 20 seconds of the game just looking at the pictures and not actually not actually do anything at all um you've kind of already lost haven't you you know it's a fast game i don't know what to tell you um you gotta be busy you gotta be busy you, you can't just like go oh yeah maybe in a minute i'll build a thing nah man all right, there's a pointless forge. Um, we've got a zealot building. There's no side core. We've got one in gas. Um, no expo at present. On the Zerg side of the map, um, Pool is building weirdly Evo Chamber first. Um, not really sure what that's about. So maybe we're going to see a plus one, but speed is so much import more important. You won't have the gas for plus one uh, for quite some time unless you don't get speed and like. <laughs> Please get speed. Um, you know what I mean? Speed speed for Lings is literally the best upgrade in the game. Uh, Benling Nest coming down, which, yeah, against Protoss, I don't know. It bends on pretty good against Zealots, to be fair. And given that Seiski's side core is so lit, um, there's only going to be Zealots uh, to deal with. So, you know, perhaps these Benlings will work out just fine. There's no speed in production, but there is a layer. Um, I'm a little worried, to be honest. Um, really? What, I said this is basically one best layer. There's no and, and like, no speed. Uh, so I, I don't really understand what this build is. Um, yeah, double side core from Seiski. Now he's, he's tried to make up for um, being so lit with the side core. Uh, by building two of them, and that isn't how it works. Um, so uh, the there are three gateways here, but only one of them operational. Um, the Overlord is going to go down, but Anks are not actually supply blocked. Now these Lings, you know, without speed, no speed. We've got an Evo chamber. There's no upgrades being researched. Um, we're we're researching Overlord speed, but we don't have Benling speed. Uh, okay, um, Lair is done. Finally, Ling speed. Sorry, Ling speed. We don't have Ling speed. Finally, Ling speed gets started at five and a half minutes. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. there's no Ben speed. There is plus one not being researched. So. Maybe it's all going to come together, um, but like, where are the workers? There's no drones in production. The man has 12 workers mining minerals. That's what you start the game with. So, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, third hatchery, um, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, there is a Protoss army on the map. Let's have a look at the army supplies. Uh, it's actually pretty close. The slight edge, to Seiski, Seiski also go terrifyingly with a worker lead, even if a lot of them aren't actually mining. And you'd have to ask yourself, how does this happen? Seiski spent the first 20 seconds looking at the background, um, checking emails or something like that. And, you know, um, is Ling speed done? It is done. So, um, Ling's against Zealots is not a good trade. Ben Ling's great. But you had the Benling Nest, you didn't actually build any bands. I just don't think there's enough here. Now, if the Protoss gets separated, then maybe there is. But as long as the Protoss army stays kind of roughly together. But weirdly, the Overlords are going to help here because uh, they might absorb some shots from the Stalkers. Uh, as it turns out now, nah, the Stalkers are ignoring them and shooting the stuff that's shooting them. Uh, which is fine. Ling's trade pretty well against... Um, stalkers but they don't trade very well at all against zealots so let's see what the rallies like if the links yeah that's always always the problem when there's an army on top of you, you you've got to make sure you kill your rally points otherwise your links you know those links did a lot of running before they attacked anything 
Um, had you cancelled the rally point, then the links would have come out and instantly attacked the nearest thing to them. Uh, and you, you could have potentially got a surround on these stalkers and killed them all. Um, but as it was, the links kind of ran past them. Now this base down here is up, but look where its rally point is set. This base, um, you know, there's 18 more links coming out, but is it gonna be enough? I don't think so. There's no spine crawlers being built to defend. There's no additional queens being built uh, and there's no bendlings being morphed either. Um, so I, I sort of feel like this Protoss army is just gonna win the game here. Uh, there is more stuff coming across the map as well. Um, and this looks problematic for our Zerg player. Yeah, a spine crawler coming down now when the stalkers are already in your men. You know, that was a great idea three minutes ago when they first turned up. It, stuff takes time to build. Yeah, you know, that, that's why you, you do have to react quickly to stuff. If an army turns up and you're a Zerg player, it turns up at your third, your, it was actually the fourth base, and you think to yourself, I don't think I've got enough to hold this, you know, insta, throw down four spine crawlers, get a round of lings in production, get bendlings in production, get extra queens in production. All of those things have to happen straight away. It, there's no point waiting for them to come up into your base and then start building stuff. It's too late, you you know, um, those uh, those buildings are never gonna see the light of day. You, you've got to throw them down pretty much straight away. And I would normally recommend throw them down in the men if you find you do manage to hold a little bit or slow the army down uh, and it isn't tapping at the, it isn't knocking at the door of the men. You can always move those crawlers down into position in your natural or whatever. Um, but if you have them at the top of the ramp in the men, uh, that is a good place to sort of build them initially. Um, and then if it does all go peep tong, you've got that last line of defense if it's tight. But, uh, you know, more than that, um, there, there were, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. E Evo before pull? No, don't do that, please. Um, th that's an absolute waste of time and money. Um, the, the super fast lair was utterly pointless. It, it achieved nothing for you. You didn't build any lair tech units. Uh, so, so don't do that. And if you're going to have a Benlin nest, brilliant. Do build Benlins. Um, because otherwise, what was the point in that as well? So there's an awful lot of resources spent on things that just benefited you in no way. On the Protoss side of the map, um, <laughs> you know, you won, but oh my goodness, you, you need to be a lot faster than that. GG.